Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? This week, we're going to have a solar eclipse and an asteroid that's coming way too close for comfort, folks. Um, this is a very, very prophetic week. If you take a look at it from the, si- the standpoint that God said, Jesus said in his word, there would be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And of course, having a solar eclipse would require the moon to get in between the earth and the sun, a solar eclipse, at the same time that an asteroid, TX-68, is going dangerously by the earth. And a cluster of asteroids were just ahead of it, very close. So, we are seeing signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. Same, the verse goes on to say, with, dis, uh, with uh, the stress of nations, with perplexity or confusion, and the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear of things coming upon the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Then shall they see the sign. Then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, he says, Look up, lift up your heads, for your redemption is drawing nigh. Well, this week in astronomy, they're getting, uh, we're getting a solar eclipse and this asteroid, TX-68, that's going to come very close to the Earth. Well, this is the kind of thing that people would even actually make movies out of. Uh, but on March the 8th, our planet will experience a cosmic double whammy of a total solar eclipse of the sun and a 100-foot-wide asteroid flying by the Earth in the same day. This total solar eclipse is the only total eclipse of the sun this year. And now, let me just say this, it's our first eclipse since 2015, and this time... It is met, folks, uh, as the moon's shadow will travel across the earth late Tuesday evening, March the 8th, early Wednesday, March the 9th. Scientists at Space explain that the odd timeline is due to an inter- international dateline. The eclipse starts in Indonesia early Wednesday, but moves east across the Pacific, so it will still be Tuesday for the last third of the eclipse. It goes back in time. This is a total eclipse of the sun going back in time from Wednesday to Tuesday while an asteroid is flying by the earth so close that you can feel the wind blowing in your hair. Are you serious? Are you seriously serious? So God's got a perfect timing. And when he's doing these things, he's he's putting signs in the heavens for us. Now, so if you um, look, if you're planning on a vacation or if, excuse me, if you're planning on watching the eclipse in person, remember, never, ever, ever look directly into the sun, even though a, through a telescope, uh, if you want to get a telescope, instead, you'll need eclipse viewing glasses, all right, protect the retina in your eyes, all right, so don't be blinded by the light, don't, don't do that, don't do that, okay, so I want you to be, uh, I want you to comprehend comprehend that biblical prophecy uh, was one of the things that Jesus said at the end times when asked about, can you give us a sign of thy coming in the end of the world? He talks about a lot of stuff. But one of the things, of course, in Luke chapter 21, verses 25 through 28, okay, he tells us that there will be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And so we are seeing that tomorrow, March the 8th, And March 9th, it depends which side of the earth you're on. And this eclipse will start on Wednesday, March the 9th in Indonesia and will finish March the 8th in the Western Hemisphere. Unbelievable, folks. Unbelievable. Um, Something biblical is going on here with the signs of the second coming of Christ. Are you saved? Are you ready? What if he is coming when everybody's up looking in the stars at the solar eclipse and the comets and everything, what if that's when he decides to come for his bride? Will you be saved?